Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for the one, the only, the mad scientist, Dr. Vega Artero. Hello! Greg here. There's some fascinating things to share with you. Yes! So, it's really hot outside, and so I moved inside to a nice AC conditioned area that's sort of part of the silo complex. But, well, silo is it's a little hot. So, what we're going to talk about today is time. Yes, how time passes from moment to moment to moment, and then right back to a moment again. So is this moment, moment, moment? What is time? Because there's something about this moment. Because I've never seen the future. Have you seen the future? Really? Have you seen the future? Because I haven't seen the future. Never. Once. It's sort of a predicament for me. In the past. I'm talking about the past all the time. But still, it's like, it's right here. Right now. Making this video. That is what is happening. Thank you. But. But. Let's talk about an experience. Yes. An experience. A mighty experience. At least for me. How about I translate this experience for you? And so, I was doing some fine dancing, the spirit science gathering, the spirit science team, rocking it up day and night, and uh, something interesting happened, which has happened before, but being around such beautiful human beings and such inspirational energy, things started to click, yes? And when that all started to happen, I realized something, a fundamental thing about time. So, if you want to know, maybe, just possibly, maybe, okay, okay all right, all right, come. So, I'm spinning my paw, doing a dance, swinging them around, and then, and then, I started to realize I can see my toy moving in front of me, but I can also see my toy moving behind me, over here. And, the thing is, well, fire dancing creates these trails of fire, this magnificent fire, yes, fire. And people are just like, oh, it's a time delay with your eyes, and you can see it stretch out. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's a good metaphor for what's also happening at the same exact time. Because there's a delay happening with your eyes. The delay past the present moment. You're getting a little bit of your past moment into your present moment. And well, the thing is, with fire dancing, you get all that energy moving all around, okay? You start to see where you're moving into. You start to see where you came from. You might say, feel where you're going, feel where you're moving, and feel where you are right now. But the thing is, yes, the thing is, not only moving this way, but you could also be moving that way. You could also go from here, from this, this here, and then come right back out. But, those are all potentials. Potentials are all existing everywhere. But, there's this fundamental thing called free will. Yes, free will. You choose a potential. And so, I'm just, let's talk about walking. Walking is interesting. It's a good example. Now, there's a potential where I go this way, potential where I go that way, there's a potential where I go this way. It's all existing in front of me right now. Okay? Because it's always in the now. But with my free will, I'm choosing, hmm, I gotta go back to it. So I'm going here. Alright? That's a choice, a simple choice within this matrix of time. And so, as we start to move into fourth dimensional consciousness, because somehow the scientific community thinks we're locked into this perspective, whew, that sets back a bit, when we expand upon the perspective, expand upon how we understand time, we start to see things a little differently. Yes. So let's talk about space, okay? When you see something up close, it's very detailed. It's all here, yes, all this data, all this information, I can see it. It's all white, it's all this nice little texture. 
But as I start to get farther away, yes, farther away, we've got these paintings at the other end of the gallery, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, as I start to move away, that information starts to average together, it starts to blend together. Just as that painting is a blending of color. Okay, as I move far away from it, that information becomes less, less relevant for you. Yes, you, in the present moment. Hmm. So, think about the same with time. Okay, but if we expand our perception of time, and you start to be aware of all of time around you, just like us being aware of all space around us. But I'm only aware of what's most relevant to me, which happens to be in this room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you get the okay, you can see only so far. You look over the mountain ranges, but everything just a blur in the distance. Pilots would say that there's a, what's your maximum visibility before it just gets too hazy, it just starts to blend all together. The same with time. Mm -hmm. And so, you would have these potentials in front of you. If you have like Donnie Darko and this big blob coming out of your belly, yes, ooh. But it's not just one. That one turns into two, turns into four, turns into eight, turns into sixteen, da da da, da and just keep going everywhere. Yes, yes, everywhere. And, but as they start to fractalize out in all directions, those potentials in which you're seeing are getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer to where you don't notice them much anymore. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. It's most relevant is the present moment. You can move into the fourth dimensional consciousness and still be in the present moment, but be aware of all the potentials of creativity and experience around you at all times. Really cool thing too, mm -hmm. is uh, you start to pick up like accidents. You know, like, there's gonna be very few accidental deaths in fourth dimensional consciousness because you can see it all happening around you. But again, the big metaphysical realization of all of this is you see how time is interconnected. That it all is existing in a single moment. A very single moment. The Big Bang did not happen 17, 16 billion years ago, as physicists are saying, no, no, no. It happened right now. It's happening right now. Every single aspect in your life. So sometimes they talk about Paul and Andrew having these relationships. Well, what's important about this is not this whole sexual connotation. No, no, no. I'm talking about being present with one individual because you can walk out of that relationship, but you're still with that individual. You still have that connection with that individual. It doesn't go anywhere. It's only the illusion of separation in which it goes over there, over there, over there. Over there. But it's still there. It's always there. There's no such thing as a past life past connection and a future connection. So they're all existing simultaneously everywhere. And so my friend just had an experience where he met this guy who reminded him of his son and the guy reminded him of his dad. And they both had problems, father-son problems, and they got talking and um, they had like a healing together. Well, they never met each other before. And then he goes back and meets his father or the father goes and talks to his son, and it seems like something is healed. But they're two different people, how could this be? Well, it's these energies traversing through space and time. So what I'm getting at with all of this is the present moment of now. It's all existing and all pervading, and at the root source of it is awareness, consciousness. Mm hmm it exists everywhere for the basis of perception and experience and growth and love and all these really cool positive things that pessimists like to push away well you know I'm pulling them into my life and worshipping them because it allows me to experience joy it allows me to play a character and go as mad and insane as much as I possibly can and do what I want because I have started to understand the power of my free will. And so, with this fading off of potentials for those who want to get very scientific and mathematical about what is exactly going on, well, something called the inverse square law, yes. 
And where energy drops off, the inverse square of energy. So if you think of square, it's an exponential nature. Okay? But that's going to be infinitely large! Well, the inverse square law goes to the infinitely small. It just drifts off. This law relates to how we perceive space with light. And that light isn't moving is the way we think it is. No, 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 no. But it fades off the inverse square law. The same with our perception of time. Because the inverse square law makes only what is relevant to your perception in that very moment in space and time. Because if we try to comprehend everything, the infinite, you would just blow. Just like in Dino, when we say the word God, it's just like boom. That's just too much. That's why God, or whoever you want to call it, I like the word infinite, just everything. Has to become something. You know, first God created the word. He creates something, an entity. A polarization of its being. Well, I am a polarization of its being. The masculine variety, and more specific, Virgo. Yes, I'm a Virgo. Mm, 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 mm. We're known to be cocky sometimes. But very analytical. We like to get down to the little details and figure out what is exactly going on in this reality. Well, my friends, we are moving to a new dimension of consciousness. Yes. When I say dimension of consciousness, it is perception. Okay? If you have a cube in your hand, you're here from second dimensional consciousness, you just see a slice of the square. That's all you see. And you can move through that cube, but you're just seeing slices of the square. That's all. But really, there's a cube there in place. And what's existing within the cube? Well, there's a hypercube. Yes, the hypercube's folding in upon itself, which are potentials. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I feel so good with myself. So, I think this is the lesson for today. Yes, I think it's been fully conveyed. Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask. I might be lazy in getting to them because I'm doing mad scientist-y things. Hmm, it's pretty crazy down there in that silo. You know, but it's a little hot. Got a little heat exhaustion, a little delusional. But what am I not delusional as is, okay? It's just emphasizing the delusion of this reality of being here, really over there. I don't know what's going on. Oh wait, I do. I, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do know what's going on. Now is going on. That's exactly what's going on. It's now. Yep. Still now. Still now. Yep. Okay. Cool. Well, let's end it on now, and I will talk to you. Later, AK. Now. Have a good one, my friends. Namaste. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy 4th of July. For those who you know, who uh, still celebrate that. And, well, thank God for the free thinkers who are still holding up the, the true beauty of America. Hmm. Hmm. Just died 1913 and all, you know. But, but, yeah. Hmm. Awesome.